Hey guys and girls, Photog Nord here with uh, another tip on the Fuji X100. I'm using the last sun I, I have here at the summer house here in the evening, <clears throat> and I've been going uh, to and fro the beach today. And as you can see on my uh, X100 here, um, <clears throat> I got grains of sand here uh, in my dials. I don't like that very much. Uh, I'm going to show you how I do some maintenance on my camera when I've been to the beach and uh, how to clean that up. Uh, first and foremost, I always use a uh, protective filter on my lens so I don't actually worry about uh, grains of sand scratching my my glass uh, on the camera. Um, so, so that is what that is, and that can be uh, cleansed with all sorts of things. Um, but uh, the sand here is what worries me. Uh, this is sand that you cannot blow away with uh, a blower. Perhaps you can actually if you have uh, air in a can, something like that. But uh, mouth to lens blowing uh, is not going to do it. Uh, then there is the uh, on off button on the uh, Fuji X100. It's uh, very important that you do not get sand underneath this button. I'm talking from experience. I've had this camera before and I have managed to get uh, grains of sand under this button and it actually tends to just uh, perhaps uh, uh, break the, 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 the strand, uh, what's it called? Yeah, the grain and it'll just be like eh, eh very hard to uh, to turn the camera on and off um, actually I had to sell my old X100 with a discount because I had a jamming on off button so um, <clears throat> what I use to cleanse my camera is I have a uh, my this is not my traveler's kit this is my at home kit for cleansing the camera it's not compact as you can see I have some uh, cleansing fluid I have my toothbrush I have the cloth the, the, the the fine cloth and the uh, more coarse cloth and then I have the yeah let me take some of this out this is my uh, cleansing fluid that uh, actually mixes with water only a, a few uh, drops and uh, seven drops for one liter this will last me a lifetime if I can hang on to it and uh, what I need here for this operation Desert sandstorm is uh, this. Yep, do not use your wife's toothbrush, she will not be happy. Use your own old, just keep it, and uh, you will be able to um, to use that for, for such thing a long time. So, uh, what I usually do is I just take my toothbrush and I just gently sweep these out. As you can see, they are coming out fairly quickly. Just brush it to the side like this. And where we had a lot of grain before, we have no grain, no more. Um, and as I said before, please be aware when uh, rinsing this part, if you have any grain of sand, do not um, try and, and use the toothbrush inwards towards the button. You would have to like scrape the sand off, but can we blow it, just scrape it off this off the sides but if you do like this you will just push the grains in under the uh, the switch here and you do not want that so um, this was just uh that's me and my iPhone hey uh, that's just just cleanse uh, the entire camera screw off your filters uh, use the uh, the water you have the wipes you have uh, do regular maintenance on your camera because this is your uh, your body, your companion, and 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 you want it to be uh, nice and tight and, and functioning whenever you need to take that picture. So uh, uh, respect your hardware, and um, it'll give you some uh, some good things back. Okay, this was uh, Photog Nord with a very brief uh, tip on how to remove. Uh, sand from your X100. I hope to see you soon. Bye guys.